Hey everybody, thanks for listening to a bonus edition of the new marketing show. Catching us on Instagram TV or on YouTube here, however you are consuming this content. You know, we just did a quick Trinity Web Minute again on the difference between WordPress pages and WordPress posts. You know, it's kind of confusing, but it's kind of not. So, let me put it to you just the simplest way possible. Pages are static and they always reside in the same spot on your site. You know, a lot of pages you can get through from the menu bar, you can get to them from sidebars, et cetera, et cetera. Typical pages are content like salesy content, you know, uh, things like the about page, services, your contact page, of course the home page, uh, anything else that you want your audience to always be able to get at their fingertips and to consume easily. Those are perfect pages. Posts are fluid, which means they go within the WordPress blog loop and they actually go in reverse chronological order. Now I'll do that with my hand, reverse chronological order. So the newest one from let's say today's date going back to the oldest one, which perhaps is a couple years ago. So with that being said, posts also are derived with categories. I love using categories from just to, to separate and to, to make sure that the, the content is separated in the best way and it's easiest for users to find it. So uh, typical posts are current events, uh, a lot of how-tos, uh, a lot of topical content, a lot of stuff that you want to be indexed for for search are t lend itself really, really well to posts. Now the reason being is because Google <clears throat> likes to index things by the date, likes to know the relevance, the recency, and all that good stuff. So posts are perfect for that. So if you're gonna have a service page, make that a page. But if you're gonna have a how-to about, let's say about what's the difference between WordPress pages and posts, that's a perfect thing for a post because it's topical content that you want indexed. It's confusing, but it's not. If you really think about it, it's one of those things where, you know, a page is something that you want somebody always to find and a post is something that maybe they can get introduced to from a, something else or from a page, et cetera, et cetera. The thing I always say, and I've said it twice already, maybe three times, but here it is again, pages are static and always there. They are always in the same place. Posts are fluid and in reverse chronological order. So hey, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. I hope this debunks some of that stuff. If you want to learn more about Trinity Web Media or about what we're doing or digital marketing or any of that good stuff, we have our podcast, The New Marketing Show, which you can get to on trinitywebmedia.com slash iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. And then we keep doing these Instagram TV videos and post them to YouTube and our site. So check them out. Let us know what you think. And we're here for you. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.